I have an ongoing debate with a friend of mine here on Marco Island, and we differ on the answer. Uh, the question is, can we change? And that might be a question for our nation right now. It might be a question for uh, your family, your church, your city. It, it is a question that needs an answer. It demands that we answer it well. And I disagree with my friend. My friend thinks that uh, we don't change. But what I want to hope in is a God who is unchanging and yet who promises to change us. We've seen already last week in our moments of hope that we talked about how God can actually transform us as we renew our mind. We renew our mind by looking at scripture. The question for today might be this, can we renew our will? Can we change our will or, or that which sort of controls what we end up doing? And in Romans chapter seven, the Apostle Paul in the Bible says very clearly that the, the law no longer controls us if we believe in Jesus. And yet in the very next paragraph, he says, I do what I do not want to do and I don't do what I want to do. He's admitting that he continues to wrestle, to struggle in his will with what he does each day. And what we wanna say in the Bible and from the scriptures is that we can change. And in fact, if you believe in Jesus, not only can you change, but God helps us change. His spirit in us is in fact a change agent. He is the one who helps us to be more and more like, more and more like Jesus. And so what we wanna read in Romans chapter seven is this, but now we're released from the law, having died to that which held us captive. That's, that's sin, so that we serve in the new way of the spirit and not in the old way of the written code. That is to say that if you believe in Jesus, it is Jesus himself who covers our sin and erases the demands, or maybe you should say not erase, but he, he covers over, he fulfills the demands uh, of the law and in fact releases us now to live in freedom and liberty um, because we're redeemed by Jesus himself. And so what does that mean for our will? It means that it doesn't have to be a slave to our sin. Our uh, daily patterns and habits and, and thinking does not have to be attached to something that's ungodly, but rather as we read scripture, as we follow him, as we fall more and more in love with him, our will begins to be changed. That's why I'm so excited to be this Sunday, June the 21st, heading back into in-person worship at Marco Presbyterian Church because what we do as a church body is we read scripture, but we also sing and pray and together we um, get together as the community and we grow in our love for the Lord. Now, I love the Lord, I love you, and what I want more than anything is for my life to show God himself. And I hope that that's your prayer, your hope as well, what ends up happening in, in that, that growing love, that transformation that I'm praying for, for you and for me, is that we end up being more and more like Jesus as we live in this world, as we say things like, I don't do what I want to do, I, I do what I don't want to do, but more and more we'll begin to see Jesus more clearly and rest in him. I'm excited about worship this Sunday. Join us June 21st at 10.30 a.m. right here at Marco Presbyterian Church.